Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today we're doing chapter five in the Math Test Success Book, ASVAB Algebra. It's a 25 chapter book that I'm working on and there'll be a video for every chapter. The whole intent of this book and these videos is to prepare you for any standardized math exam, whether it be the ASVAB military placement exam or a contractor's exam, or just trying to move forward, going back to college, the essential math skills you need will be covered in this book. Today we're doing chapter five, measurement and conversion. Measurement's a big part of everything, um, whether it's a standardized test or just everyday life. There are two primary measurement systems that are used. The first is the whole world uses that metric system, millimeters, kilograms for weight, and then the US, I think Burma, and maybe Liberia, those are the only three countries in the world that use the imperial system, inches, feet, yards, pounds. Uh, just because I'm so familiar with this, I really like it a lot, just because I guess it's kind of old fashioned as well. So the metric system for length is really the meter is the standard measurement going this direction smaller or this direction bigger. I think the standard in the imperial system is probably the foot going smaller is this way, going larger is that way. In weight, the metric, the metric system uses grams as a middle, and then smaller than a gram is a milligram, larger than a gram is a kilogram. And then in our system, pounds, LBs, going smaller ounces, 16 ounces to the pound, and getting larger tons. Uh, there are a few different types of tons. Usually it's 2,000 pounds to the ton. And then in volume, the standard for the metric is liter, getting smaller as a milliliter. And then time, time is gonna be the same across both systems. Again, the kilogram, or the gram is the center unit. A thousand grams equal one kilogram. This is how easy it is in the metric system. Either you're multiplying by 10 or dividing by 10. So let's do a few example problems in the metric system. I convert 2.5 meters to centimeters. This is really the biggest idea right here, unit conversions, 2.5 meters. I don't wanna change the weight of that thing at all and I want to make sure I write my units down. So I'm going to multiply by a factor of one to convert my units. It's really a very big idea. So this whole thing is just equal to one so it doesn't change the value of it. Now I have to multiply it by something in the numerator and denominator that have the same weight. Well, I know that I'm going from meters to centimeters. So here's, I don't have that up here, but one centimeter is 10 millimeters. I know that centi means 100, so 100 centimeters equals one meter. This and this are the same, they don't change. My meters cancel, 2.5 times 100 is 250, keeping track of my units, and that's gonna be centimeters. This idea of multiplying by one is a big idea, and you really wanna make sure this is what you want, this unit is what you want to cancel. There's another sample problem here, 3.2 kilometers, and I want meters. So I want meters in my answer. That means I have to have kilometers down here, meters up here. Kilo is 1,000, so there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. Now my kilometers will cancel. That's giving me meters, which is what I want. 3.2 times 1,000 is 32. I move this decimal over one, two, three for the three zeros. All right, moving on to imperial conversions. These are pretty hard. Uh, you just, to be fluent in these, uh, you just need to spend a ton of time around them. I've been around them my whole life, so they're not too hard. But one foot equals 12 inches. One yard is three feet. One mile is 5,280 feet. One pound by weight is 16 ounces. One gallon is four quarts. One quart, two pints. One pint, two cups. Not easy. Uh, so convert three feet to inches. I take my three feet, making sure I write my units down. 
I multiply by a factor of one. One foot equals 12 inches. My feet cancel. That's going to give me inches. Three times 12 is 36 inches. Convert two and a half gallons to quarts. I start here with 2.5 gallons. I need to multiply it by a factor of one. Here's my factor right there. Four quarts equal one gallon. My gallons cancel. That's going to give me quarts. 2.5 times 4 is 10. And that is the equivalent of 10, 10 quarts. Next, let's look at conversions from metric to imperial and, and back and forth between the two different systems. Your conversion factors here, um, these are hard to remember, but one inch is 2.54 centimeters. I just remember two and a half centimeters on it, you know, pretty close. A pound is 0.45 kilos. A gallon is 3.78 liters. So convert five inches to centimeters. I'm starting with five inches. I need to multiply by something. I want centimeters. So centimeters has to be in the numerator, inches in the denominator. Then I use that ratio, right? 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch. Inches cancel, that gives me centimeters. And then five times 2.54, I'm gonna multiply all this out, 2.54 times five is gonna give me 20, carry the two, 27, carry the two, 12. And that's where the 12.7 centimeters comes from. Okay, section 5.3, solving measurement, real life problems. So these are all unit conversions. This big idea of multiplying by one is an important one. So here's one right here. Recipe calls for two pints of milk. How many cups of milk are needed? Usually you're given conversions on this, but there are two cups to the pint. So if you have two pints, you have two pints, and you know there are two cups to the one pint, pints will cancel and give you four cups. There's another sample problem. A carpenter needs to cut a board eight feet long and the pieces that are 16 inches. Key to this problem is I notice different units. So I got to either convert this all into inches or convert this into feet. So I'm going to take this eight feet, eight feet. I know there are 12 inches per foot, per one foot. Again, multiplying by one doesn't change the value. My units here cancel. That's going to give me inches, so I have 8 times 12, 96 inches. How many 16-inch boards go into 96 inches? So I need 16 into 96. They are both inches. Times 6 is 60, 96. It'll be 6. So the correct answer here is 6 boards. Okay, here's another example. Again, pause the videos, do the problems before I do them. Um, and then unpause the video and watch how I do them. Let me clean this up a little bit here. Okay, example number five. If you drive 150 miles in three hours, what is your average speed in miles per hour? So I already have miles per hour. That's what I want. So I do 150 divided by three, and that's going to give me my 50 miles per hour. Here's another sample problem. A water tank holds 5,000 liters of water. Uh, 5,000 liters of water. How many milliliters does it hold? Well, 5,000 liters, let me erase that L, 5,000 liters, and I want to go to mil, milliliters. Mill is 1,000, so that means I've got to multiply this by 1,000, so I go over 1, 2, 3, add three zeros on there. So it's going to hold 5 million milliliters. OK, here's a couple practice problems. A rectangular garden is 12 feet by 8 feet. So I like to draw that out. 12 by 8, keeping track of units is what this is all about. What is the area of the garden in square yards? It's a little tricky. I go 8 feet times 12 feet to give me 96 square feet, right? So I have 96 square feet, 
but I got to figure out how many square yards there are. Well, here's a square yard, and it is three feet by three feet. So I could see in one square yard, there are nine square feet. So I have to take this 96 and divide it by nine. It's going to go in there once. It doesn't go in there into the six, so it's going to be um, six left over. So nine goes into 96 ten times with six left over. So it's going to be ten and six ninths square yards. That's kind of a tricky one. We haven't talked too much about that. But in a linear measurement, there are three feet to the yard, but in a square measurement, there are three feet by three feet, so nine square feet to the yard. We'll just do a couple more right here. A recipe calls for two and a half cups of milk. I'll write that out, two and a half cups. How many fluid ounces of milk are needed? Well, they give us our conversion. One cup is eight fluid ounces. The key to remember is cups have to go down here to cancel, and one cup is eight fluid ounces. That's OZ. So I do eight times 2.5, 16, plus 0.5 times eight is four. So 16 and four is 20 ounces. A runner completes a 10 kilometer race. How many meters? did they run? I could multiply it by the number of meters over kilometers. This is kilometers. I know there's a thousand meters in one kilometer. Kilometers cancel, that's going to give me meters. And then I'm going to have 10 times a thousand or 10,000. A lot more problems here. And then in the book, I have the answer key to all the problems. I won't do all of them in the videos. Uh, I'd highly recommend, you know, if you get this book, you cover the answer key up, do the best you can, and then check your answers in the answer key. But we'll go down here to the test on chapter five, the measurement and conversion. So in the book, I have tests at the end of every chapter to check yourself. I won't do all of these problems. I'll just do some as a sample. But at the bottom of the test is the answer key. So you can check it on there. OK, so on test chapter five, Basic unit conversions, convert seven feet to inches. So this right here, I'm going to take seven feet. I want inches, 12 inches to the foot. My feet cancel. That's going to give me inches, 84 inches. We'll convert four gallons to quarts. Four gallons. Well, there are four quarts to the gallon. So this is going to give me... 16 quarts. We jump down to number five here. Convert 2,500 meters to kilometers. So I know one kilometer is 1,000 meters. My meters will cancel. That's going to give me kilometers. Uh, I could just do 2,500 divided by 1,000 to get 2.5 kilometers. OK, let's jump down to a few harder problems here. Multi-step conversions. Let's take a look at number 12. A rope is 12 yards long. How many inches is that? Well, I can't go yards to inches. I have to multiply this 12 yards. Yard will have to go down here, and there are three feet to the yard. That's going to get rid of my yards. And then the second step of this problem is I have to convert these feet to inches. Well, I know one foot is 12 inches. So now my feet cancel. The only units I have left are inches. I have 12 times 3 times 12. Uh, 36 times 12. Give me a 12, 6, 7. Placeholder, 6, 3, 2, 13. 432, make sure I have the right units, inches. And what was I asked for? I was asked for inches. 
Okay, here's a hard one right here. We'll jump down to number 11. Again, pause the video, do the problems before I do them. On number 11 here, four hours and 30 minutes into seconds. So I'm just going to convert that four. I'm going to just make this one unit here. 30 minutes is half an hour, so I'm going to make it 4.5 hours. I want to convert that into seconds. I know that one hour is 60 minutes. Hours will cancel. That's going to give me minutes. So 60 times 4.5 is going to give me a 0, 30, placeholder, 0, 24, 2700. Zero. So that's going to give me the number of minutes. So I have 2700 minutes. And then from here, I need one minute down here is equal to 60 seconds. Minutes will cancel, and that's going to give me seconds. So I got to do that 4.5 times 60. Oop, forgot my decimal place here, right? That's 270. 270 minutes, right? See how I have a decimal place there? So 270 times 60 is going to give me my seconds. So I take that 270 times 60, 0, 0, 0, placeholder. I'm not looking at that one. 0, 42, carry the 4, 12 plus 4 is 16. Add that up to get 0, 2, 1, 6, 2, 1,620 seconds. So this is really the big idea. Multiplying by a factor of 1, I check my units to make sure they could cancel, it's like in fractions, and then I make sure my answer is what I was asked to find. Let's move down to a few actual world problems here. Jump down to number 18. A water tank holds 600 gallons of water. So I have 600 gallons. How many liters of water does it hold? Well, I'm going to have to multiply that by liters in the numerator, gallons in the denominator. So my gallons will cancel. It tells me that there is 3.785 liters to one gallon. And in this case, uh, I'm not going to keep all those significant digits. If it's a standardized test with no calculators, they'd expect you to round that to like 3.8. So I have 3.8 times 600. I'm going to take those two zeros off for a minute, and I'm going to put them on when I'm done. So that's 48. Carry the 4. 18 and 4 is 22. Remember, I got one decimal place here. It give me 22.8. But I had those two zeros, so I put them back on. So I go over 1, 2, and I get 2,280 liters. Let me just think about that for a second. 600 gallons, it's about 4, so I'd expect 2,400. So I could see 2,280 is in the right ballpark there. Okay, well, that's Chapter 5. I appreciate you watching. Any questions, please post them in the comments. Uh, this is a work in progress. I'm trying to get this book finished and make it available. But uh, until that happens, or if you don't want to buy it, make sure you have a notebook and pencil out. The way you learn math is by doing math. So you have to do all of these problems. I'll put a link to every chapter of this book in the description. And again, I'm hoping for 25 chapters um, and then 25 videos to go with each one of those. And the last will really be test-taking strategies so you could be successful on any standardized math exam. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you in the next chapter as soon as I could get it done.